Hello friends, Coach Bob with you. And today we are gonna be looking at that darn pedal commander, man. I wanna tell you, this thing is amazing. Um, you know, there have been a lot of different things said about it, um, what it is, what it isn't online. Um, and there have been, the only thing that I've seen that even looked controversial, some guys had had uh, vehicles like some of the Dodge Hemis and that sort of thing that had put this thing on there. And it, it had slung some codes or had affected their throttle. I have not experienced anything like that at all. Uh, and I've run the heck out of this thing so far. I've messed with it while riding. I've done things they say uh, you really shouldn't do, uh, adjusting uh, while you're actually moving and things like that. Trying to see if I could get it to malfunction or to do something weird even. And so far, so good, it hasn't done anything weird. So we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of how this thing works, of how you adjust it, set the modes, that sort of thing. Then once we get that done, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna put it in the zero again. There are nine levels within each of the four modes. So you have 36 levels of riding that you can do. You have negative four, positive four, and zero. We're gonna be running at zero in each of the four modes. So you go a little less and a little more. We might even do the Super Sport Plus at the highest rating just to see what it'll do. But I can tell you the Super Sport, or the Sport Plus mode technically is what it's called. The Sport Plus mode is pretty darn crazy. It is very, very powerful. Um, it delivers that fuel immediately. Are you gonna be burning your back tire off on the Can-Am Spider RT? No, I don't think you're going to be. It's a belt drive. It's, it's a little different and you got a lot of weight here. But is it dramatically different? It, yes. It is a dramatic difference, something that I think you're really gonna love. So let me turn this camera around, show you, the, show you the pedal commander, and let's get this thing figured out. All right, so here is the pedal commander itself. I've just powered the, the uh, spider up. You can see that the sport light is on. If I press this again, we'll go into sport plus. It goes from city to sport, sport plus, hold it down, goes to e economy mode. Economy mode, I'm gonna tell you, is somewhat anemic. And then we are powered off. City, sport, sport plus, economy, off. There we go. So we're gonna pop it into uh, sport mode, which is where I like to run it. Sport mode at zero is my preferred setting. But you can see this right here is how, it, that right there is how you power it on and off and how you go from mode to mode. This is the uh, adjustment of the parameters within each mode I was telling you about. See, there's a green light, that would be plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. Go back down, three. Come over here to the other side so I don't block your view. Two, one. Now we're at zero, nothing's lit up. Red light indicating a negative. Negative two, negative three, negative four. So you have nine levels within the sport parameter. So with the light off, we are simply sitting at the center. If you don't power this off, when you turn it on, it comes back where you last had it. So I'm gonna power the uh, spider down. Now, as you know, it takes a minute for the actual electrical activity in the spider to shut down. You know, you have your neutral light, your parking brake light, and your headlights remain on for, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds after you power that. This also holds true to the pedal commander. Once these lights shut off, there they go, the pedal commander also shuts off. All right, friends, well, here we are out here getting ready to test this thing. Um, before we get started, though, I wanna tell you a couple of things that I have noticed. Um, one of the things that is really, really cool, and, and for those of us who have, you know, ridden maybe more dramatically you know when it comes to curves and things how when you're coming out of a turn you accelerate out of a turn it makes that a lot more effective making the machine more fun to ride on twisty roads a lot more fun as a matter of fact uh, again the one thing you do have to be careful of if you're riding by the seat of your pants and so you're not really looking at your speedometer you're just used to the way the machine accelerates itself um, because you ride the same roads you'll get yourself in trouble because you'll you'll accelerate more rapidly and then you'll approach that turn uh, and I'm not being uh, facetious here you'll, you'll approach it at 20 miles an hour faster 
than you would have otherwise. So this little stretch right here, this is where we're going to play. I'm going to, I got a road down at that end and I got a little turnaround point down at this end. And we're just going to do some zero to 60 checks in each mode. And we want it to be as straight as possible. And the road straightens out right about right here. So I'm going to find me a quick little turnaround and uh, we'll, we'll do that. All right, so let's turn this bad boy around. We know what our U-turn radius is because we did a video on that. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this thing off. We've, we've turned it off, and so we're set. This is where it normally is. So we're going to get up here to a nice little straight spot. And I'm going to honk the horn three times. On the third honk, I'm going to go zero to 60. How hard am I going to pin it? I'm just going to look for the fastest acceleration that I could possibly get out of it. And here we go. Okay, here's our spot right here. right there okay that was 60 and we hit 60 in fourth gear um, that was pretty much pinned I mean that's all she has and and you know when she's just doing her thing now could I have wrapped it around there a little more I might could have um, but I'd say pretty much when you're riding you're gonna have to drop your shoulder and, and uh, really uh, skin it there in order to do it I'm gonna turn around right here on McCracken Road and then we'll turn this puppy around so here we go in economy now economy at zero that's where we are i will tell you economy is less power than it normally has um i mean it's <laughs> it's pretty radically i think that if you're wanting to get 50 miles to the gallon if you can't get it with this economy mode you're in big trouble so here we go Zero to 60. There we are, right there. 60 in fourth gear. Now understand that once you get the Can-Am up to, you know, it's, it's operating uh, RPMs, that's when you're that you know it pretty much levels out because you're already there but i tell you it takes a while for those rpms to get up there when you're in economy mode you really really notice it um like i said once you get up to your rpms you're fine but getting there it takes time so now we are in city mode I'm spun a little wheel there city mode is a little spunkier than traditional but I would say it's probably the most similar to what you're going to feel as a spider rider it feels like the spider pretty much stock I, I, in fact I would venture to say that city mode at negative four is where you are so here we go There it is, okay. Again, once you get your RPMs up, the pedal commander doesn't really do anything because your RPMs are already there. It's getting them there. And accelerating out of those turns and just playing. And let's see what sport mode does. We are now in sport mode. I can tell you that is, that is a dramatic difference. Um, that's crazy. Um, and you can see accelerating out of a turn is just unbelievable at what it is. There it is. And you can see how quickly it moves up in the RPM band. It moves up there pretty quick. But where you really notice it, when you're just riding, and you just crack that throttle and it goes and you're like wow so now we're going to hit the sport plus mode i don't know that the back tire broke loose on that one 
but it felt like it might have a little bit so here's our turnaround point i know we got there a lot quicker <laughs> turn around here yeah. all right sport plus mode okay wow that's just nuts y'all you <laughs> you just have to be on this thing to believe it that that right there it feels like a sport bike i mean it just winds up the rpm so fast uh <laughs> It's just not even funny. All right, we're going to get right here to this sign, and that's where we're going to go. All I can tell you is at this point, I got to hang on. Here we go. There. So, to get me there quicker, I don't know, but I'll tell you this like from here, you see that you see the the can am rocking you can't do that you are you cannot do that if you're not in this mode you're gonna have a lot more you're gonna work this thing a lot harder um, so let's just get crazy <laughs> this will be the first time I've done this by the way I think I don't I don't can't say that I've run it in sport plus plus four I'm gonna tell I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am holy cow y'all I'm that spun the back tire I'm just gonna tell you that spun the back tire holy guacamole all right let's uh let's just go ahead and you, you just can't hide from this mode you know when you go you go uh, all right here we go there um oh my goodness i'm t that, that's that's what gets me this thing feels like a sport bike y'all it really does you get it up into that operating uh parameter of rpms and right now i'm doing 65 you you know what it's like when you're doing 65 and you want to accelerate out of a turn you know what it is i'm in sixth gear um this thing it, it will just Again, it won't rip your arms out of your sockets, but it, it makes the spider a hundredfold more responsive throttle response. So let's look at this real quick. We're gonna come up the road just a little bit, and we're gonna do a couple of 20 to 60s. Turn around right here. Y'all recognize this from Worship on Wheels. That's one of that's, that's the church. I love to check out okay so <laughs> oh my goodness um, like I said in the grass you just you just can't even you just can't even control it um, it's that sensitive <laughs> all right so let's so let's get to 20 but in first gear all right we're ready so we're it, it's hard to even hold it at 20 here we go it um, I, I mean it's that's where you feel it that, that initial that initial take uh, when you're riding it is a, it is a different machine and you you find yourself what you do you find yourself riding it in a different power band that that's one of the things that I think that I was doing I'm gonna put this thing in sport mode this sport plus mode is just absolutely bonkers uh, that's just a good way for me to run off into the ditch and hit a tree <laughs> oh my goodness I mean it is it is absolutely crazy power for y'all all right make sure nothing's behind me here this won't take but a second I just don't want to get hit all right I'm in sport mode at zero here we go is that right nope hang one more Boom, there we are and it recommends that is way better I'm telling you this is the mode sport mode gives you all of the power and acceleration you need um, to me and I don't understand why Can-Am doesn't offer a, an electronics package with riders modes to have a sport mode and a rain mode and that sort of thing 
those things are readily available and, and obviously if they can put it in this little box there's no reason that K&M can't do that. that that would be something that really does in my opinion that needs to be on the K&M Spider. there's just no reason it's not there well I hope you found this in-depth review a little more informative and give you more of all of the details about this thing it has it has transformed the riding experience on this machine. All right, here we come out of a curve, and this is where, again, right there, you're, you hit that power band, it's just a different. One of the things I've noticed, and, and you know, and I've always noticed it, but it's more, it's more to the forefront on this now, is that the shifter. Anyone who's ever ridden a, a, a bike that has a quick shifter where you're doing it with your foot and, and what happens is there's a momentary interruption in the, in the ignition and that spark so that you can shift without a clutch and as soon as you move your foot, it makes that cut. And as soon as it's in gear, it's going. Those things are unbelievably sensitive and they shift so fast, it's unbelievable. Even the blipper, when you downshift, it's just bink, 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 it's, it's nuts. That's where the Can-Am lacks. That quick shift ability, it's click shift, but it is not quick shift. And it's not, it really isn't quick shift. You notice that on this. Remember, you are putting more torque on your gearbox. You're putting more torque on your belts. You're, you're putting more torque on everything. So, obviously, you don't want to ride like a total hooligan. This is not a hooligan machine. But there is absolutely no reason for you not to be able to play a little bit and enjoy the design of this machine because it is a superior machine, in my opinion, to a lot of things. And again, this is where I get it right here. You see right here, I'm in fifth gear. And when I come around this curve, I can accelerate out of it like that. And here I go, I'm gonna enter another one and I'm gonna get in my position here. And as soon as I'm coming out of that backside right here, I can accelerate out of it. That's where I notice it. That's where I really, really notice the big difference. Those sorts of things. So the performance side of it, I do look forward to seeing, by this time you have seen, what the zero to 60 looks like. I don't know what it looks like. I can tell you it's, it's different feeling. So I do look forward to seeing what it actually is. All right, well that's pretty much it folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. So until next time, I want you to do me a favor. Go out, buy that motorcycle of your dreams, <laughs> eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, <laughs> you know it. You are doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day, and we are gonna. We're gonna talk to you soon. <laughs>